So how's it going guys, Flair here back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 Xbox One video and in this one I'm actually going to be talking about what I think of the JP points or job points as we've been led them to actually stand for and what I think they're actually going to mean for GTA Online and kind of what we were expecting to see with this and still what the possibilities of them ever being implemented are. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video be sure to go and drop a like down below as it really would help me out. Now let's go. So for those of you that have maybe only recently started playing the game or somehow have just not noticed them or not paid attention, every time that you complete a job in GTA Online, you actually get money, RP, but you also get JP, which I don't think has ever actually been clarified. It may have, but people have just seemed to interpret it as job points, as obviously these are the only times that you actually get any JP. Now these actually carry over into free roam, so the next time you load into a session next to your name and to your rank, you actually have a certain amount of JPs, which tend to add up in, in pluses of 15, but they do go in other numbers too, so it just kind of becomes an ever increasing number, but it does reset every time you change session. The fact that this point system would actually reset every time you left online or even just change session kind of led people to believe that they were just completely pointless as there was no real way of stacking them, there's no real your stats which shows how many you've garnered over the time that you've been playing online. It was just kind of this pointless thing that nobody really understood. But one theory that a lot of people were kind of sticking to up until the recent release of heists was that at some point we were actually going to have to use the job points to be able to start certain heists and maybe to start up the higher ranked ones for like the Pacific Bank job maybe. You'd actually have to get more JPs than that maybe you would if you just wanted to start the Fleecer Bank or the Prison Heist. So it would kind of, it, just to a lot of people, it would just seem like this system where you'd have to start playing a job, start doing things in free roam as well, which I would maybe implement to actually give you job points, and then finally you could spend them on hosting a heist to be able to play with your friends. But I guess that they could see a lot of problems with this, with the fact that if you dropped out of a session maybe with a connection issue, you'd lose all of your job points and then it would mean you'd have to restart all of the way to be able to redo the heist. It just seemed like a really inconvenient thing, especially where you couldn't change session or log off without them having completely re reset. But when the heist dropped two weeks ago, we actually realized that nothing was actually going to be done about this. There was no mention of job points anywhere through this thing. I'm not even sure if heists pay out any job points at all, and as far as I know, they do not. So it just seems like they're this completely pointless feature in game, which really the only thing it promotes is that when you go into free roam, is that it tells the other players that you've been doing certain jobs and races and missions for a particularly long amount of time in the last like couple of hours, if the job points are anywhere, say around the 150 mark which is overall a pretty useless stat. And now we are pretty much a year and a half since the game was actually released back in 2013 in September. So we're not likely to be seeing at this point any real use for them. We know that we're probably going to be getting some single player DLC, but JPs aren't in single player. So I wouldn't imagine that any just small little content DLC would actually add anything really useful, for which you would end up using job points. So I'm really not sure where Rockstar would take it from here. So what do you guys think? Will we ever actually see job points implemented? Did you have any ideas of how you thought they would be done? Did you think they were going to be linked to heists? Any and every thought that you have about these job points, be sure to leave it in a comment down below. I'd love to be able to read what you guys think of this, and I'll be sure to get back to you if you have any good ideas. Be sure to leave a like down below as it really would help me out and it does help share the video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this coming very, very soon. We're just about to hit 3,000 subscribers, so I've got some great stuff planned for that. And finally, follow me on Twitter or on Instagram. There is a link in the description down below, but if you follow me there, you'll get kind of behind the scenes pictures and general tweets and things that don't always get uploaded to this channel. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys all very much for watching. My name has been Flair, signing out.